Okay, so we have two slit interference here. The idea is that we have slits separated by a distance D, and the light from those slits goes off some direction toward the wall over here, right, where the center of the diffraction pattern on the wall is here, and then at some angle theta here, we have bright or a dark fringe. And we don't know what's there. We do know that the distance here is eight millimeters, that's our Y, and that the distance to the wall, L, is 1.6 meters, okay? Now this path difference here, delta, is d sine theta. Okay, so that's two slit interference. You've got two different sources, and when those two sources meet over here on the wall, there's a difference in distance. This, this source down here on the bottom has traveled a little bit of extra distance. And if that little bit of extra distance corresponds to a half wavelength, or one and a half wavelengths, or two and a half wavelengths, then there's going to be a dark fringe there because of destructive interference. And if that distance is equal to one wavelength, or two wavelengths, or three wavelengths, or whatever, then that's going to be a bright fringe. Okay, so the path difference, the path difference, delta, that's equal to d sine theta, which is also dy over l. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to set that equal to m lambda, and we're going to find m. So that if m is, you know, a half or one and a half or two and a half, then it's dark, and if m is one, two, or three, then it's bright, that sort of thing. So m is, uh, let's see, d y over lambda l. Okay, now the distance between the slits is given to be 0.35 millimeters. The y coordinate there of the in the pattern is 8 millimeters. And the wavelength of light that we're using is 583 nanometers. And the length is 1.6 meters. So if I solve for m, I get m is equal to 3. Right? So that means it's a bright fringe, it's a bright spot, or a bright band, bright fringe. Right? Because the path difference here, delta, is equal to 3 wavelengths. Right, and if delta in the path difference is an integer number of wavelengths, that means you've got constructive interference. Therefore, bright fringe.